a runnability problem. This car is running extremely rich, then extremely lean. What we're doing is we're running fuel pressure test relay two to verify where uh, we're having our issue. So we're gonna stop this, go back to relay one. We're gonna start it as well. And we need to be right around 3.9 bars, which is roughly 56 psi. You can hear the fuel pressure coming through there. Now when I stop the activation, it goes back down to 52 roughly. When the car idles, we're right after 60. So this vehicle has a tune and it actually has 1300 cc injectors and now we need to rule out some of the issues. Anytime you start tuning these vehicles, you want to make sure all the basics are covered. Your oxygen sensors are brand new for bank one. Your fuel pump one and two, your fuel filter, which is located over here, all that has to be replaced. If you don't replace, you're going to be chasing issues and chasing problems that you don't really want to deal with later on because if you start tuning it with these particular problems, you're going to blow your engine. As simple as that. So wherever you get your car worked on and you decide to go with cob tuning or any kind of tuning, you want to make sure all that has been done. There's a couple other videos I cover the coolant fittings and everything that needs to be done on the engine as well needs to be also repaired while the engine is out. So fortunately this is a pretty nasty weather to be doing this, but we need to get it fixed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start this car because I have tested everything manually. Now it's time to start it up. Now this thing will run good for some time and then it'll start to act up. So we're going to go back because everything just got disconnected. We're going to go to actual values but I'm going to show you the fuel pressure. Okay, so this is our reading at idle. Let's just sl slightly over spec. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the mixtures now. We're gonna see what they're saying. Okay, so this is all your items that when you take it to the shop, this is what needs to be checked. Okay, so here's our corrected sensors, bank one and two. That is a pretty big deviation. Uh, bank 2 is running much higher than Bank 1. And this will explain why we have such a high rich condition for Bank 2. After it ran for a little bit, the balance is straightened out why it's important to know how to read data and read this data before swapping parts and making a final decision what's going on.